Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Jane Deepika Garrett. For those of you who don't know, I am Miss Universe Nepal and I just completed top 20 in Miss Universe in 2023. And I'm starting this YouTube channel to basically be more up close and personal with you all and kind of share about my experiences, my daily life, my PCOS journey, my mental health journey and tips on these different things. Also, I'll be talking about body positivity and travel, beauty tips, modeling tips, fashion. I mean, I have so many things I'm gonna talk about. So just basically about me and what I love to do, my passions, more about me, my personal life, and also ways to become more confident, ways to become the best version of yourself. That is my goal on this YouTube channel. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm so excited for you guys to be here. I'm so happy and grateful for all of your support and your well wishes. And I I mean, this journey has been epic for me, like epic. I have really enjoyed the whole journey, the ups and the downs, the good, the bad, the ugly. I mean, it was amazing. And so yeah, so today we're gonna to talk about my Miss Universe journey and why I am gonna start YouTube. So this is this is crazy. This is literally crazy. But I have never done pageants in my entire life, like ever. But since I was a kid, I have always like watched the Miss Universe pageant and I was like obsessed. I was like, I gotta be on that stage, like I wanna be in high heels, like with a swimsuit, like I wanna rock that stage, like that's my goal, you know and i was like 11 at the time and i really really i really enjoyed pageantry and things like that i would watch it you know on and off but then over the years i kind of just stopped watching it i was like okay whatever like i don't think i'm ever gonna reach that goal like i gotta study like i grew up in nepal and in nepal we you know like the culture south asian culture is very like career study 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 you know you, the kids have to study and i mean that's a, that's a good thing like I'm happy I have my career, like, thank God. But um, like there was not really like a pageant, like a culture or like a modeling culture. So I kind of like put that out of my head and I was like, eh, okay, I guess I won't be a model. I guess I won't do my passion, you know, for some time. And so I just focused on my studies. I focused on my nursing degree, which I completed. I'm really happy for that because I'm a nurse now. Yeah, but, um, but yeah, so, um, in like June 2023, like four months before the actual Miss Universe pageant, I literally decided to join the pageant. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna join Miss Universe Nepal, like YOLO, like this is my one life experience. Like I can just gain some experience, like what's gonna happen? I don't know, they don't have any, they don't have a height requirement. They don't have a weight requirement. So it's fine. Like I'll just like join, you know, just to like boost my confidence. like see what happens, gain PR, gain experience. And so it was kind of like that for me. And I, um, but then I started getting like really, really focused during that time. It was like one month of like the competition. And this was in, Jul this was in August, August. And August was like the actual like Miss Universe Nepal competition where we had to, do a bunch of activities with sponsors, do modeling shoots, um, catwalk training, rehearsals, outfits, all these things like that. And so like, I started getting really focused during that time and I was like, okay, you know what? I think I can actually win this. I'm not gonna compare myself to other girls. I'm not gonna compare myself to other people. I'm just gonna focus on myself and focus on improving myself and being the best version of myself that I can be. And glow up for myself you know so I, I was doing it for me basically not for anybody else even my parents were like what are you doing like do you really think you can win miss universe like bro like do you see yourself i was like yeah i can i can win miss universe like i just kept acting delusional which actually worked it works to be delusional sometimes okay <laughs> and so um i just like kept going and i kept pushing myself every day i would just like focus on my performance I'm like okay I did this yesterday like what can I do today to make it better what can I do tomorrow to become better what can I do to improve myself so I kept doing that and the competition was on September 9th and it was such a oh my gosh it was crazy I the gown was good I wasn't a big fan of the gown but 
what happened was my gown literally got stolen from me like the day before the pageant and I had to make this like gown like super last minute it wasn't even fitted properly like whatever but I was like you know what I'm gonna rock that gown on stage like whatever like but I loved it I love the gown like I love the color and I just did my best like I was like okay you know what I've already won like I had I had that mindset like I was like I've already won like I already won you know I just kept having that mindset in my mind to take away all those negative thoughts that were coming in because like negative thoughts comparison self-doubt it's a really really common thing and it can come really easily just like that you don't even realize it like all these insecurities all these self-doubts and you're just like okay like I, I, can't, I can't do this I cannot do this but the thing is I kept brainwashing myself and telling myself no like I can do this I've already done this this is gonna happen for me I kept saying that to myself I kept reassuring myself talking to myself in a very positive way and that took me years to learn so i'll teach you guys how to do that in another video soon but yeah i i really had to like just have tunnel vision and be like no i'm gonna do this no matter what i can do this and so on the day of the of the competition in nepal i i really started i mean even before that like in the preliminary competition people started to see my the way I answered the questions and how I was answering, how authentic I was, how genuine I was, how I just opened my heart up, how passionate I was for my advocacy and for the things that I was doing. I wasn't just there for a crown. I was really there to really prove a point to people that, you know, we're beautiful, that people, you know, women who suffer with hormonal diseases, who suffer with mental health issues, like we are beautiful, we are deserving and we don't have to suffer alone we are seen we are heard we are worthy and that we can improve our lives like we can have good good worthy lives like worthwhile lives that doesn't have to be detrimental or doesn't have to be you know depressing for us for the rest of our lives so i was just trying to show that to the world and i really enjoyed showing that to the world and i'm gonna continue to show that to the world but um so yeah, like I, 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 like on the day of the, on the day of the pageant, the, the competition, it was like it was like surreal, like it was crazy. I was like I didn't even, re I was just like I won, like what, <laughs> you know? Because I really did not think I would win. To be honest, I kept having that mindset like I'm gonna win. I've already won, but like I still had those doubts. Like would really, would people really accept me? Would people really accept a plus size girl or like a bigger girl, a curvy girl? Would they actually like? want me you know what are they gonna say and i mean even though i got so much backlash like i got so much support and so many women felt seen and heard by me and i was like oh my gosh this is this is awesome like i made history like oh my gosh you know this is crazy and it felt so good and it felt so like like surreal to me it felt like a dream come true and literally from that day on to the miss universe pageant i had six weeks literally six weeks and i reached top 20 in the miss universe in literally six weeks and i was like that's just crazy because like a lot of people they prepare for pageants for like years and years and years and i literally did a pageant within six weeks like i did two pageants in how many months like three months total like that's just crazy <laughs> like nationals and then internationals and the fact that i reached top 20 like oh my gosh that's such a huge achievement and Sometimes I, I, I become really like hard on myself because I'm like, I wanted to win Miss Universe, you know, like that's every girl's dream. Like we want to we want to win Miss Universe. We want to be Miss Universe. And but like I just had to keep reminding myself like, oh, honey, like you did this in three months. You you went from like 1000 followers to like 300 K in three months. Like, it's OK. Calm down. Um, Like you, you know, I just have to keep telling myself that like you grew. And in that amount of time, that growth that you went through, it was so profound, so inspiring, so beautiful that it, it's okay if you didn't win. It's not about winning. It's more about the impact that you made. It's more about the message that you sent. And so that's what I kept telling myself. And that's what I've told myself to feel better, to move on. Because um, in a way, like the pageant like all of that happening it was like a huge life change for me because it happened all of a sudden i was never i wasn't planning this for years and years i wasn't like working towards this for years i worked towards this for like two months but i gave my all i gave like 
16 to 20 hours a day, I was like, I can do this, you know, even though I don't have that many resources, even though I don't have that much time, I'm still going to give my best. I'm still going to do my best. I'm going to be my genuine, authentic self. And that's what matters the most. And when I went to El Salvador, oh my gosh, I love El Salvador. I love the people there. They're so sweet. And the food is so good. And the country is like, it's a lit country, like the beach, like, oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Um, that's a really dope country, El Salvador. And the people there, like their hearts are so pure. Like they just have such a giving heart. And like, it just reminded me of Nepal because like Nepal is very similar in, in a way. And I didn't really feel like I was away from home. I didn't feel like I was away from Nepal because I just felt like, okay, like, like you guys, like your hearts are the same, you know, your generosity, your warmness, your kindness, your culture. It's so like, it's so beautiful. It's so warm. It's so welcoming. And when I was in El Salvador, I like, I had a few moments where it was kind of like, okay, you know, I didn't know how to act in front of the camera. Cause like, I've never had that many cameras in front of my face in my entire life. I was like, okay, how do I act? What do I do? But then I just kept like watching the other girls. I just kept observing. I kept learning and kept trying to do better each day. So like day one was like, okay, I'm exhausted. Day two was like, okay, you know what? I'm ready to go. Like I can do this. I'm going to keep pushing myself. It's just 14 days of this competition. I can do this. And it was difficult for me because of course, like PCOS girls, we get a lot of fatigue very easily. We get a lot of mood swings. We get a lot of, um, you know, health issues super easily. But I just kept taking supplements, I kept taking care of myself, I kept doing meditation, listening to subliminals, kept boosting myself up even though I didn't feel like it. I didn't feel my 100% every day, but I had to keep showing up. And that's what every girl did. I was so proud of every single girl. And just meeting all the girls from all the different countries, it was like, oh my gosh, I loved it. Like, you just met, like, it's just like you're inside the universe, like, in a room, if that makes sense. Like, you're inside the world in a room and you meet like there was like what 84 countries and it's like 84 different cultures different languages different mindsets different upbringings it was like wow like i loved it i loved talking to all of them i loved making so many friends i miss them so much and the miss universe organization was very professional very nice they did their best to make us feel very comfortable wanted seen heard and they really gave us special attention and that felt very special to us it was very beautiful and also meeting the president of el salvador that was like a really really cool moment for me that was like such a dream come true because like i really look up to him i really like a lot of the things that he's doing to try to improve his country to improve his country the things that he's done and i think that's amazing that he's he's working so hard to really boost this small yet bold and brave country to become so much better so yeah and after miss universe i mean that moment on stage that was that was crazy like i loved the preliminary moment for me when i was in the swimsuit round it was like that was like my moment i was like yes like i was like feeling it i was just walking i was like yes like confident in my body like i don't care like i love my body i love myself like, I'm showing you all, like, this is who I am. Like, I love that moment. It was amazing. Oh my gosh, I miss it so much. And what I, you know, something about life that I really, it's difficult because you can't relive a moment ever again. A moment passes away just like this. And what's so important is that you stay in that moment, is that you stay present and that you, you are grateful for the moments that you've had, even if it's good, even if it's bad, even if it's the worst thing that's ever happened to you, each and every moment has a lesson for you in life. It teaches you something or it provides something to you, you know, gold. And that's what I've learned in life. So I'm trying my best to celebrate each moment, even if it's good, even if it's bad, even if it's the worst thing ever. I'm trying to celebrate each and every moment and really live in each moment it's been hard for me because i struggle with disassociation which i will also talk about in another video you're just gonna learn so much about me isn't that gonna be so much fun ah! <laughs> but yeah um so that was kind of my my miss universe journey i was disappointed to be honest that i didn't get into top 10 but i am so grateful that i beat 
so many different countries and I was able to get into top 20 and I was able to really push my message to push my agenda if that makes sense not not agenda but like my message to the world that you know every every girl is beautiful and that there isn't just one type of beauty there isn't just one size that's considered beautiful but every single woman is beautiful there's like what four billion of us so it's about time that we break these beauty standards and we start loving ourselves we start accepting ourselves we start feeling self-confident like we gotta you know own ourselves own our body like mm, you know own our skin you gotta do that if you don't do that like there's no point to do anything in life because in life you're only going to be with yourself you're born with yourself and you die with yourself like literally and if you don't accept yourself if you don't love yourself like it's going to be a difficult life for you so i had to learn that as well another lesson okay so yeah i think i'm going to start a playlist called life lessons with jane it's going to be really fun <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna have a different playlist, you know, like I'll have like a PCOS playlist, a uh, life lessons with Jane playlist, a um, pageant playlist, a modeling playlist, my travel playlist, my beauty playlist. I'm gonna have different playlists, okay? So tune in to all these playlists. I'll be posting videos a few times a week. I think I'm gonna start off with probably three to four times a week for now and eventually you know let's see what happens but yeah please like share and subscribe to all of my videos and comment down below how um <laughs> how shocking it was for you to hear that i've only like i did this whole pageantry thing in six weeks like that's crazy like I, even i'm just like how did i even do that i have no idea how but yeah that was like super stressful for me <laughs> To the point where like i was like and then even after the pageant i kept traveling for like two months straight after the pageant and i was like about our burnout i was like i need to go home i need to sleep in my bed for like five days see nobody's face and i didn't do that still another month after i came back home again i went to thailand and i was like dude and then i came back home and i was like okay i'm done i'm gonna take a break so i took a break and i feel so much better now i feel so much more energized I feel so much more like ready to go towards my goals, towards the things that I want to do. And so yeah, self-care. Another Oh yeah, another playlist, self-care with Jane. Okay, there. So we have multiple playlists that we're doing, okay? So I'm excited and oh yeah, comment down below what kind of topics that you would like to see me talk about and discuss about cuz this is a discussion. This is a community with me. And yeah, I hope you guys all feel loved, seen, and heard by me. And feel free to discuss whatever you would like to discuss with me. Comment anything. I'm here for you guys. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be posting more videos soon. See you guys. Bye.